Okay, the purpose of this lab is to show you how to use do Microsoft Access. I won't give all labs like this, but this is to kind of help you get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my machine and I'm going to find Microsoft Ac Access 2013. And I'm going to open it up. And then I'm going to go to a blank desktop database. And after it's done, I'm going to go File, and then I'm going to go to Open. And then I'm going to look for, it happens to be here, Lab 1 Northwind. You should have downloaded this from the Lab 1 overview area in the Week 1 module of the course. Um, so download that, get it onto your machine. Um, another way is I'm going to just go to my desktop. I put it there, and it should be here somewhere. Northwind 1. Let me go to name and look for Northwind. Can't see it. Okay, it's on my machine somewhere. Anyway, there it is. Desktop. North Lab 1 Northwind. I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to hit the highlights. First thing that happens is this startup form comes up startup screen splash screen startup form I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna enable any content in case you have to do that I'm gonna get rid of this splash screen as well this is your environment here it's a little bit different than using Excel or access the way you look at access is it's like a, a bunch of different files in Excel and access you work in you know, one file and then you save it and you're done. Well, access is like a basket into which you put a lot of files and you save these files as you go. When you exit out of access, you don't save anything because you will have been saving every time you got out of all these different objects, which are tables in this case. Now there's different, um, there's different ways of viewing this. One is to see this here, all access objects. This gives you all the different types of objects that you create in a database. These are tables, also known as entities. Queries, which are, are um, little programs that extract information from the database, just like when you search for something on Google, you can search the database here for information. That's called a query. Forms are things like this. That's a form. It's just a screen that allows you to type data into it that's a form and then you also have reports so you can reports like this for example and this is good that's why access is better than Excel is that you have repetitive reports with data changing all the time all you do is enter the data and then run the report and it's automatically updated access is also good for large volumes of data and then these other items we're not going to go into in this course, macros and uh, modules. We're going to focus on tables, queries, forms, and reports. So the way you get access to everything is through this. This gets rid of your navigation pane. This opens it up. So one thing that you are going to, um, first of all, is to uh, go through here. And we're going to look, first of all, at opening a table. Tables are the soul of Microsoft Access. So I'm going to go to Tables right now, and these are all the different tables that there are. I'm going to open up a simple one called Customers. In this lab, you'll have to answer questions about different tables after you do certain searches. You can see that we have all of these, all of these um, filters like you can do in Microsoft Excel. See how I can select all, or I can say I just want to see all the Alexanders, for example. Well, there's only one of them. Then I can take off that filter, clear filter, entirely. And that brings everything back again. Um, I can put multiple filters on here. For example, I could get rid of all this and say I want all accounting assistants who are in Florida. There you go. So I can do filters there. Just make sure you remember to take them off. Clear the filters from that. And I also had a filter 
over here on their job assignment. So I'm going to clear that filter as well. So you take all that. And um, OK, so you're going to have certain labs that require you to, I mean, certain questions in a, a document called uh, Lab 1C, where you're going to answer questions about the database after doing filters that they ask for. Okay. Now, there is another thing we're going to go here. And I'm going to, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to uh, look at the relationships window. So I'm going to go to database tools. I'm going to go to relationships. This is the entity relationship diagram. In lab 1A, you would have done something similar to customers to orders with a lot less fields in it. And you see how this is a one to, that means infinity, many to relationship, or many to one going that way. Each customer has many orders. Each order has one customer. So this is where you can see the full design of the database and all of the tables in it. And there are some questions that require you to say, tell me all the tables that are connected to the orders table. So you'll have to look for all these lines coming off it. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Are there any more? So we go down further. Seven, eight. There's lots of different, uh, and you count them. I'm not sure if I did it right. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There might be nine. There's a lot anyway. You need to go through this and count, and, and they might say to you, you know, what tables are connected to the order details table. Well, that's easy. It's this one and this one and that one, three tables. So um, they might say, what are all the columns that are located in the, I don't know, purchase order table? Well, you go down here and you'll see all of these. If you want to give me a screenshot of all of these and just put that in as your answer after displaying all of the, the columns in the table that they're asking for, not necessarily purchase orders, but if you just want to, you know, give a screenshot of that table only with all the other stuff removed, you can do that. Or you can write them all out and type them into the Microsoft Word document. So that's another thing that you'll have to do. And then the other thing that they ask you to do to help just help you get around in access is to go to here and go into the queries table. And you'll see all of these queries right here. These are predefined. I'll show you just <clears throat> going to right click and go to design view. See what a query is? You put the tables you want to extract information from, in this case, just employees. And then you tell them what columns you want. And this one has employee name, employee ID, everything from the employees table sorted in ascending order. And this is a complex query. I'm not even sure I'd have to analyze what that does. But the fact is, they've programmed into this you know, what they want. And then you click on the Run button. And then it pulls out everyone according to your criteria. You don't have to create the query. I'm just kind of showing you that there's, uh, there's more than one way to look at it. But if I go, so I'm going to go back into Queries. And I'm going to click on Inventory on Hold. And I'm going to see see how much Northwind Traders dried plums. There's 20 of them on hold, for example. And that's another thing that uh, you might get asked. Now, anything that you've ever opened is up here. And it's always a good idea to get in the habit of using these things as you need them. And see, this is an example that if you change anything, like I did in this one query, then you should it'll ask you when you go to close it whether you want to save it and it'll put it in here and then access as a whole is a basket so you don't have to save the basket all you do is save the individual items in it okay and close that I don't want to save any of those I'm gonna close that. save any of those changes like the filters I made and I'm gonna close that as well okay when I'm done all I have to do at this point is just go like that X out of it, and everything will still be in there for the next time I want to use it. If I do want to open up this file, I can just click on it here as well, and then everything I had would still be there. 
Okay, and that's how you, that's in just an overview of how to get around in Microsoft Access. I haven't gone into the detail about how to answer every question. You should be able to do that just based on what I showed you and from following the instructions.